Hi everyone and welcome to Cheval Blanc Saint-Tropez. This is your 10 minutes daily back rehab, which is great to do in two instances. If you are recovering from a back injury, uh, you had a back injury and you're just trying, starting to uh, come out of it, right? This is great to do. It's also great to do for maintenance purposes. So if you know you have a weak bag or a bag that tends to have issues, I would recommend that you do this every, every day, at least a couple times a week, okay? So we're gonna get started in a child's pose. So you are here, let your knees separate a little bit and you're going to bring your forehead down with your arms forward. Now I know that your hips might not go all the way to your heels and that's okay, you do what you can. Now, just a little bit of context here. I am myself recovering from a back injury that I got from a surfing accident three weeks ago. And this sequence is a sequence I put together to help myself start moving again and feeling better. And I can tell you that doing it every day, I am a new person. Um, so I'm really talking from experience here with this sequence where we're going to be doing a mix of core strengthening which you really really need and also uh, mobility so I'm excited for you because I saw some amazing results with my back take an inhale where you are and exhale here okay we're going to start with a forearm plank. So you're on your forearms, everyone. For your plank, you want to have one straight line. Bring the navel in, push the weight onto the heel. So when you're here, you have to be here, engage your glutes and try to make one straight line. If you're not sure, put yourself in front of a mirror and make sure you are here, not here and not there, right? This is bad for your back. So ready, three, two, one, and we're here. So you can interlace your fingers, but make sure your feet are together and you're trying to press the weight back onto the heels. If you do a plank right, it should be challenging, okay? So if it's easy, it's probably uh, not a correct plank, so it's not gonna help you uh, with your back injury or strengthening your core. <sighs> All right, so I'm starting to shake. And everyone, we release. Good job. Okay. Now, very simple, but very efficient. Again, exercise. Sometimes we don't need to go complicated um, to feel results. So see if you can get yourself to a tabletop. And from this tabletop, just drop your belly down, start looking, maybe you just look forward right now. And then you exhale, you make a very small move and you try to see if you can look towards your navel. If you're used to doing yoga and do this very big range of motion, cat and cows, this is not what we're doing. Right now, we're just doing a very, very small motion. All right, so it's not a full cat and cow, it's just, saying hi to your spine saying listen I know you're hurting I'm here I'm paying attention to you I am listening to what you're saying and I'm gonna take it slow okay so and then if you feel great right, depending where you are which stage you're at in your injury you might want to start going a little further but again if this is the first time you move after your injuries, you might not, right? So if you're doing this for maintenance, start going further. If this is one of the first few times that you're moving your spine, stay small, okay? So you have to be responsible about it and you have to be taking this seriously one more time good and everyone from here again pressing to a child's pose see how that feels like <sighs> make sure you breathe take an inhale and then exhale, we're gonna do a second set of planking. And you'll see something amazing with plank. 
the first time you do it, 30 seconds seems long. You do it, you do this for one week every day, and then you start making 40 seconds, and then 50, and then one minute. It's, it's quite amazing how fast it goes. So if today is challenging, don't worry. I started when it was challenging also about a week ago for me. So one, two, three, tuck your toes, and you're here, engage your glutes, your navel is in. So if you start shaking right away, if you're feeling <laughs> very warm all of a sudden, this is what plank will do for you. Make sure you keep breathing and think about those glutes and think about pushing the weight back. Right? Don't forget about this. We are almost there with this set. <sighs> Inhaling. And exhaling, knees down. Good. All right. Now move slowly. We're going to bring, swing the legs forward. Swing the legs forward. And you're actually sitting at the center of your mat. Similar to the cat and cow we just did, we're going to do a, a roll-up bridge, right? So a bridge roll-up. So we're going to lift the lower back, middle back, upper back, and then lower down the upper back, middle back, lower back. So this is about trying to mobilize the spine. When you're injured, your spine, your muscles are going to be super, super strong, super tight, and your spine is moving in one block. So instead of moving in one block, we're trying uh, to make this happen. So make sure you move slowly when you roll down. I know how you feel, right? So move slowly. You look up. I'm looking at you, but you look up. Once you have the exercise, look straight up. Flat back, everyone. Start by tucking your tailbone. So you're just tucking your tailbone. And then lift. Try to imagine you're lifting one vertebra at a time. So you inhale, see how far you can go. Squeeze the glutes. And you exhale. Can you lower down one vertebra at a time? All right, so I'm going to place this arm up so that you can see my spine. You push on the feet. You low, you're lifting up just the lower back. You're really trying to separate your, the parts here of your spine. So when you lower down, can you lower down just upper and then middle? So you need to keep lifting your hips up and then down. Again, it's not about height, it's about mobility. So don't sweat it if your hips are not up to here. This is not the point of this exercise. You have to know what you're working for, right? What you're trying to achieve here is not height. It's not uh, to impress anybody. It's to make your spine feel better. And so you take your time. You're going to start feeling your glutes engaged, which is great. Because when you have strong glutes, it helps also protect the spine. Up and then oh, slowly lower down okay let's try it two more times ah if you do this right you actually have to focus a lot it's not that easy <laughs> seems easy and down especially the middle part there the middle part always wants to go at once so focus here one vertebra at a time And then down, the same thing. And release. Okay, windshield wipe your knee. We have one last thing to do here, everyone. Roll to the side. Coming back to sitting. And that one last thing, you guessed it, is a plank. So, third and last set. We're going to finish strong. Think about everything we talked about. Squeezing here. Navel in. Long lower back let's go three two one and all right i need to say that if it's the, if the this is your first day second third day and you're feeling challenged and you're feeling like ah, oh, it seems like such a long way before you get better keep doing it i promise you it's it's not such a long way it just seems like this okay so stay with me i was there i was there two times <laughs> I had two back accidents so everyone stay with me take one more breath and then exhale 
bring the knees down slowly press back to a child's pose nice work okay so uh, don't get discouraged one day at a time and I promise that you recover faster than you think but you have to be doing this regularly daily for sure everyone good job all right i hope this helps uh, provide a little relief uh, or that you're feeling like you're keeping uh, your spine super strong i will see you on the next one and i hope you feel better soon